Nag-aano na ba yan? Nag-feel? Check, 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 check
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Prayer of Blessing of Palm Branches let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation 
may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a halt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, Master has need of them, then he will send them at once. The signs of what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to your son, Behold, your, ki your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass, and on a call, a foal of a beast to bring him. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the call, and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strew them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following him kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering, and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, He opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My, fee, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them 
and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, he not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name, my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give him glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Jesus Christ, though he was in the form of God, did not, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking for sake, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every dead of those in heaven and earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of the twelve who was called through the site went to the chief priest and said, What are you going to give me if I hand him over to you? He didn't of silver. And from the time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unhand Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want to prepare for you? Eat the He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, May a appointed time draws near. Now I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had murdered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he had declined at the table with them. And the way, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deep distress this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who was deep his hand to the dish with me, is the one who will betray me. The son man he goes, as it is sweet and of him. But woe to the man, by whom the son of man is betrayed. It would be better for the man, if he can never be born. The dangerous is the prayer said in the line. Surely it is I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. But they were eating Jesus to it, said blessing, broke it, and gave it his head. Take and eat this, my love. He gave it to them, saying, To permit all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant which will be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness. I tell you, from now on I shall not drink this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it with you in the kingdom of my Father. Then after seeing him, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, I offer you a gift patient, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, a sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But 
happening with the high school before you do that. So all may have their faith in you shaken, mine will never be. Jesus said, I may say to you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples spoke like once. The Jesus came with him, a place called Gethsemane, at the disciples. See here, will I go over there and pray? He took on Peter and two, two sons of the disciples. Jesus. Or even remain here and keep watch me. He advanced and advanced in prayer, saying, My brother, if it's possible, let us come, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, We will not watch you watch and pray to make ungo the death. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. With rowing a second time, he prayed again. My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without me drinking, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again, and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, are you still seeing your Behold, the Lord's hand. When the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners, get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the tribe, accompanied by a large crowd, so was the clouds, who had come from the chief priests and others of the people. The man I shall kiss the one resting. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail Rabbi. And he kissed Jesus answered, Friend, do what you have come for. And staying for her, he answered on Jesus and resting. Behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and sighed his servant. To For all of this world perish with this way. Do you think I can call upon my father? And he will not provide me at this moment. More of his fails. But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled? Which say that it must come to pass this way. At the hour, Jesus said, Because have you come out as an stopper with swords out to seize me? Day after day I sat teach in the temple area, yet you did not arrest. But all this has come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and led. The Jews of the rest of the Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and others of He was following him at the distance, as far as the high priest courtyard. And going inside, sat down with the servants. And they are standing at the false image of Jesus in order to put him to death. But he found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, finally two came forward who stated, This man said, I can destroy the temple of God and within three days rebuild it. The high priest rose and listened. Have you no answer? What are these? Against you. But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you, I order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, Then the high 
and so his robes and said, He has asked me a further need to have me of witnesses. You have now heard of blasphemy. What is your opinion? They said and replied, He deserves to die. Then they spot in his face and struck him. The sons of him saying, Prophesy for us, Christ. Who is it that struck you? Peter was sitting side in the corner. One is over the head and said, You two were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied everyone, saying, I do not know what we are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said, Peter, Surely you two are one of them, even your speech gives you away. But that they began to curse and to swear. I do not know that. And should be a cut from Did they remember the word that Jesus had spoken? Before the crowds, he would deny the times. He went up and declared bitterly. When it was morning, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him, let him away, and handed over to Pilate, the governor. Then Judas declared, seeing that Jesus had been condemned, he regretted what he had done. He returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? Look to it yourself. Flinging the money into the temple, he departed and went off and had himself. The chief is uttered of the money, but said, It is not lawful to deposit this the temple of the treasury, for it is the price of blood. After consultation, they used to buy the potter's field, to be released foreigners. That is why the field Ire is called the field of blood. Then was fulfilled who had said to Jeremiah the prophet. And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of a man with a price on his head, a price set by the son of Israelites. And they paid it over the potter's field, just as the Lord commanded. Now on the occasion of feast, the governor custom to release the crowd, one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So he had said, I said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus all Christ? For he knew that it all of me that they had handed him over. While I was Righteous man. I suffered much in the dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to join Jesus. The governor said to him in reply, Which of the two do you want me to receive? They answered, Barabbas, Pilate, then also to be Jesus called Christ. They But he said, What but he will see is not. The old shouted the elder, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was seeing at all, that the light was breaking out, he said, It and washed his hands. He decided to the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And who people said in reply, 
His blood be upon us and upon our children. And behold, the way of the sanctuary is born into the bottom. The earthquake, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints all saved were raised. Coming from their tombs, after such resurrection, they entered the city and appeared to many. Who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake. All this happening, and he said, Rui, this was the Son of God. There were many women there looking on from a distance who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among them, and many of the mothers from St. Joseph, the mother of the Sons of Sally, when it was in me, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. 
Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained there, facing the tomb. The next day, one following the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember that this impostor, while still alive, said, After three days, I will be raised up. Give orders then that the grave be secured until the third day, lest his disciples come and steal him and say to the people, He has been raised from the dead. This last posture would be worse than the first. I said, The guard is yours. Go, secure it as best can. So he went and secured him by fixing a seal to the, to the stone and setting the crowd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Peyeli Lema sa Pagtani. God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Me, my dear brothers and sisters, these are the most moving, most touching, and even most haunting words of Jesus in the whole of the Passion narrative. Throughout the Passion story, Jesus was calm. He was composed in the minor. He endured all the pain and shame in silence and without complaint. That's until he cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And these words, my dear brothers and sisters, capture very well the excruciating pain, the extreme suffering, the deep feeling of abandonment felt by Jesus on the cross. And you know, these words touch us to the core because we ourselves have uttered these words at some point in our lives. When we experience death of a loved one or sickness or personal tragedies, failed relationship, natural calamities, injustices, financial crisis, we have also uttered like Jesus, my God, why have you forsaken me? In this moment of crisis, my dear brothers and sisters, in this moment of pandemic, perhaps most of us have also asked God, My God, why? This is the universal cry of humanity. When humanity experiences suffering and pain, the first word that comes out from our lips is, Why? And what are we to make of these words of Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters? Did Jesus really think God has forsaken him? God has abandoned him? Is it possible that Jesus doubted the love of God the Father? You know, there are two common interpretations for this passage. Two common possibilities for this passage of Jesus. The first interpretation is that this passage is in fact Jesus' cry of faith in God. When we are in pain, my dear brothers and sisters, we often lose faith. On the contrary, Jesus, in the midst of pain, in the midst of this dark moment in his life, expresses his faith in God. He quotes Psalm 22, which is our responsorial psalm today. And Psalm 22 begins with the words, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And this is about the frustration of someone who has felt abandoned by God. But Psalm 22 is not just a psalm of lamentation. The second part of Psalm 22 is a hymn of praise, of thanksgiving, of faith and confidence in God. Therefore, even in his agony, 
Jesus would sing God's praises. He would express his confidence in God. But there is another interpretation. And that another possibility is that Jesus really felt forsaken by God. But we need to, to make a distinction, my dear brothers and sisters. There is a difference between a person believing that God is absent and a person feeling that God is absent. The latter is our common experience in our spiritual life. We believe in God, but at times we do not feel that God is close. Now Jesus, being so intimately united with the Father, it would be impossible for him to, leave, to lose all his belief in the presence of God in the dark moment of his life. But it is not unreasonable to imagine that Jesus felt as if God is absent in the dark moment. And he could be forgiven for having felt that way. He was betrayed. He was tortured. He was unjustly tried. He was abandoned by his friends. He was mocked. He was alone, hanging on the cross. We could forgive Jesus for feeling abandoned by God. You know, Father Raymond Brown, a Bible scholar, points out that in the agony of Jesus in Gethsemane, Jesus addressed God as Abba, Dad. But on the cross, Jesus addressed God as Eli, a more formal way of speaking to God. And this shift from the familiar Abba to a more formal Eli is an expression of Jesus' feeling of distance from God. And you know to me, this interpretation makes more sense than the first one. Jesus really felt abandoned. And what does this mean to us, my dear brothers and sisters? In his feeling of abandonment, Jesus identifies himself with us, with our cries of why, in our moments of suffering and abandonment. He shares our common experience, our common reality. Indeed, he was like us in all things, except sin. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we struggle in life, when you wonder where God is, when you ask God why, remember, you are praying to someone who understands you fully because he is fully human and fully divine. When you find yourself in your own Calvary, Jesus is there. When you find yourself crying your own Eli, Eli, Lema Sabachthani, Jesus is there crying with you. Amen. Let us stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful. Let us
us pray to our Heavenly Father, who will that all human beings be saved through the passion, death, and resurrection of His Son, Jesus. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and religious continue to preach the good news of Jesus' cross and resurrection, thus bringing hope and strength to people who are suffering and carrying unbearable burdens, we pray. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. That our political and civil leaders use their authority to defend the poor, the voiceless, and those unjustly trampled upon, we pray. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. That the victims of natural calamities and man-made disasters not be crushed by, but be delivered from the weight of their suffering, we pray. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. That in celebration of the Holy Week, we may be renewed in mind and body and heart, and grow in unselfish love and dedicated service to our needy brothers and sisters, we pray. Through the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to follow in the footsteps of your Son, who rejoice at His triumphant entry into Jerusalem, leading to His death on Calvary. Make us glory in His cross, that we too may share in the victory of His resurrection. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sacrifices and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. Oh, uh -huh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form a divine teaching we dare to say. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. with the sacred gifts we humbly beseech you O Lord that just as through the death of your son you have brought us to hope for what we believe so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord Amen. we shall now pray over and bless your personal intentions We would like also to extend our greetings to Sister Jean Mary of the Sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth on the occasion of her birthday. Happy birthday, Sister. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow down for the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ 
did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We have acclaimed Jesus as the Son of David, entering Jerusalem in glory. Let us follow Him on the way of His cross by our self-sacrificing love for others. Thanks be to God.